Hi there. Welcome to Numerical Methods and Computations. Today, under System of Linear Equations, we are going to look at how to solve the Jacobi method. Let's look at this example. Find the solution of this system using Jacobi iterative method with initial guess of s equals 0, 0, 0 transpose. Perform three iterations. Before we solve this question, let's look at some few things to note over here. An initial guess value of s is given. The first value is s1, so s1 initial value is 0. The second value is s2, so s2 initial value is 0. And the third one is s3, so s3 initial value is also 0. The initial guess value will not always start from 0, 0, 0, but can vary. However, if no initial guess value is given, we can start from 0, 0, 0. We are to perform three iterations over here. Let's represent the iteration with the variable k. And k will start from 1, 2, 3, and so on. Let's, let's name this equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3. What we have to do now is to make S1, S2, S3 a subject of equation 1, 2, and 3 respectively. After making S1 the subject of equation 1, this is what we are getting. Also, after making S2 the subject of equation 2, this is what we are getting. And after making S3 the subject of equation 3, this is the equation we are getting over here. Let's name this equation 4. 5 and 6. The next step is to add iteration k on top of all s values on the left hand side of equation 4, 5, 6 and add iteration k minus 1 on top of all s values on the right hand side of equation 4, 5, and 6. What I mean is, for instance, from equation 4, we have s1 on the left hand side of the equation, so add iteration k on top of s1. And on the right hand side of the equation, we have S2. Add iteration k minus 1 on top of S2. Repeat the same thing for equation 5 and 6. From equation 5, add iteration k to S2 on the left hand side of the equation. And iteration k minus 1 to S1 and S3 on the right hand side of the equation. Add iteration k to S3. On the left hand side of equation 6 and add iteration k minus 1 to s2 on the right hand side of the equation also. All the iteration that you are going to do will be based on equation 4, 5, and 6. So keep note of that, it's really important. Let's perform our first iteration. So for instance, when k equals 1, we are going to put 1 into equation 4, 5, and 6 wherever we see k before moving on to the next iteration. So wherever we see k in equation 4, we are going to put 1 over there. And this will give us this equation. That is, s1 iteration 1 equals 1 plus s2 iteration 1 minus 1 all over 2. 1 minus 1 will give us 0. So we have S1 iteration 1 equals 1 plus S2 initial guess all over 2. The initial guess value of S2 is 0. So let's replace it with 0. And this will give us this equation. Solving this will give us S1 iteration 1 equals 1 over 2. Now put k equals 1 into equation 5. So wherever we see k in equation 5, we are going to put 1 there. And this will give us this equation. Solving this will give us S2 iteration 1 equals 8 plus S1 initial guess plus S3 initial guess all over 3. The initial guess value of S1 is 0, so we replace it with 0. And that of S3 is also 0, so we replace that with 0 too. This will give us this equation. And solving this further will give us S2 iteration 1 equals 8 over 3. Put k equals 1 into equation 6, and this will result in this equation. Solving it will give us S3 iteration 1 equals negative 5 plus S2 initial guess all over 2. The initial guess value of S2 is 0, so replace it with 0. And by doing so, 
we will get this equation. Solving this will give us S3 hydration 1 equals negative 5 over 2. Now that we have been able to put k equals 1 into equation 4, 5, and 6, we can move on to the next iteration, which is iteration 2. But before we do that, let's look at the values of s after iteration 1. After iteration 1, we have s iteration 1 equals 1 over 2, 8 over 3, negative 5 over 2 transpose. S1 iteration 1 is 1 over 2. S2 iteration 1 is 8 over 3. And S3 iteration 1 is negative 5 over 2. Let's look at iteration 2. When k equals 2, put k equals 2 into equation 4. And this will give us this equation. Solving this will give us S1 iteration 2 equals 1 plus S2 iteration 1 all over 2. S2 iteration 1 is 8 over 3. So we replace it with 8 over 3. And this will give us this equation. Now solving it will give us S1 iteration 2 equals 11 over 6. Put k equals 2 into equation 5. Putting k equals 2 into equation 5 will give us this equation. And solving this will give us S2 iteration 2 equals 8 plus S1 iteration 1 plus S3 iteration 1 all over 3. S1 iteration 1 is 1 over 2. So replace it with 1 over 2. S3 iteration 1 is negative 5 over 2. So replace it with negative 5 over 2 also. And that will give us this equation. Hence, S2 iteration 2 equals 2. Next, put k equals 2 into equation 6, and this will give us this equation over here. Solving this will give us S3 iteration 2 equals negative 5 plus S2 iteration 1 all over 2. S2 iteration 1 is 8 over 3. So what should we do next? Good. Replace S2 iteration 1 with 8 over 3, and this will give us this equation. Solving it will give us S3 iteration 2 equals negative 7 over 6. The values of S after iteration 2 is S iteration 2 equals 11 over 6 to negative 7 over 6 transpose. S1 iteration 2 is 11 over 6. S2 iteration 2 is 2. And S3 iteration 2 is negative 7 over 6. Let's move on to iteration 3, which is our last iteration in this question. When k equals 3, put k equals 3 into equation 4. This will give us this equation. Solving this will give us s1 iteration 3 equals 1 plus s2 iteration 2 all over 2. s2 iteration 2 is 2, so you replace that with 2. And this will result in this equation. Solving this will give us S1 iteration 3 equals 3 over 2. Now put k equals 3 into equation 5. This will give us this equation. Solving it will give us S2 iteration 3 equals 8 plus S1 iteration 2 plus S3 iteration 2 all over 3. S1 iteration 2 is 11 over 6. So you replace it with 11 over 6. And S3 iteration 2 is negative 7 over 6. So we replace that one 2 with negative 7 over 6. After doing that, this is the equation we will get. Solving this further will give us S2 iteration 3 equals 26 over 9. Now put k equals 3 into equation 6. And it will give us this equation. Solving it will give us S3 iteration 3 equals negative 5 plus S2 iteration 2 all over 2. S2 iteration 2 is 2. So replace it with 2. And this will result in this equation. Solving this will give us S3 iteration 3 equals negative 3 over 2. Now the values of S after iteration 3 is S iteration 3 equals 3 over 2. 26 over 9, negative 3 over 2, transpose. 
S1 hydration 3 is 3 over 2. S2 hydration 3 is 26 over 9. And S3 hydration 3 is negative 3 over 2. So guys, that's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Like and share this video. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day. Take care.